Hello, this is Matt Anstett from the Oncomine team, and today I'll be talking to you about the various Oncomine applications and how they're used for cancer research. The objective of the Oncomine platform is to cure cancer with genomic data. We've been dedicated to curing cancer through the application of genomic data, partnering with researchers around the world to leverage experimental data to discover and validate novel biomarkers and drug targets and ultimately impact the patient. The Oncomine platform is a series of data and analyses. The data is collected from public repositories by our dedicated expert curation team. Our curation team reviews all of the samples, sample properties, and standardizes naming conventions and maps them to our ontology. The Oncomine ontology is used to run a series of standardized analysis on every data set that we've collected. This results in thousands of analyses across hundreds of data sets and tens of thousands of patients. This is the, what we call the computable global collection of cancer genomic data. The data in the Oncomine platform is the world's largest collection of curated cancer genomics data. There's data from microarray technologies, targeted assays, next-gen sequencing analyses, Data types include RNA expression, DNA copy data. Next-gen sequencing data is used to identify mutations, fusions, and expression differences in thousands of tumors. Patient samples are annotated with key properties, such as mutation status, clinical outcome, or a response to treatment. These sample annotations are used to drive new analyses in the Oncomine platform. Oncomine software includes a series of three separate applications, Oncomine Concepts Edition. This application delivers microarray-based RNA expression and DNA copy data from over 700 data sets. It provides differential expression analysis, co-expression analysis, outlier analysis, and signature or concept analysis. Two additional suites of applications are the Oncomine Power Tools and the Oncomine NGS Power Tools. These provide more focused targeted analyses on specific data types such as DNA copy data looking for minimum common regions where a single gene may be at the peak uh, in that region having high copy number gain across the most number of patients and may be likely involved in disease. Or mutation frequency summarizations based on data that's collected both from the literature as well as from repositories such as the Cosmic Database. Finally, the Oncomine next-gen sequencing power tools provide new analysis to identify fusions, mutations, as well as integrative analysis to identify correlations between genomic aberrations and clinical features, for example. The three suites of tools deliver different data types. Oncomine Concepts Edition provides gene expression data and copy number data from microarray experiments. Oncomine Power Tools provides mutation data and frequencies from repositories such as Cosmic as well as the literature, as well as DNA copy number analyses uh, and gene expression analysis. The Oncomine Next Gen Sequencing Power Tools provide mutation, fusion, and integrative views and will also include gene expression RNA-seq analysis. In addition, Oncomine data products are available to extend analyses beyond what's available in our applications. And finally, an Oncomine Enterprise Edition is available to integrate proprietary data sets into a secure version of the, the applications. In addition to the three software offerings, we also provide services. We have a team of expert scientists in cancer biology with many years in clinical research, in pharma, as well as in informatics and bioinformatics that can extend the analysis and address uh, specific custom questions for our customers. The Oncomine platform has had real impact in the discovery of many different genes and pathways involved in cancer. 
from the ETS gene fusions in prostate cancer to the more recent discoveries of FGFR gene fusions in diverse cancer types. There are many uh, publications, both by our scientists as well as third-party literature references that have utilized the Oncomine platform to identify new biology and to ultimately impact and improve the lives of cancer patients. The Oncomine platform of applications and content are supported by the latest oncology research from investigators around the world. Data is carefully curated, analyzed, and made available over the web in multiple applications that help investigators identify patterns in genomic data related to cancer and potential response to treatment. To validate expression of a target, such as vascular endothelial growth factor, a simple search can be performed across thousands of patients representing hundreds of cancer types in the Oncomine Concepts Edition application. The search reveals across 705 data sets, over 88,000 samples, we have a number of results. These results are summarized across cancer types as well as across analysis types. By focusing on six results for overexpression in brain and CNS cancers in the cancer versus normal analyses, we can drill down to investigate each of these results independently. Here we see glioblastoma samples compared to normal tissue. In this comparison, we have a significant p-value, a fold change of near 5, as well as a significant gene ranking, this being the 98th best gene in the analysis within this study, the shy brain study. The plot to the right shows us the individual patients as bars, indicating the distribution of overexpression of VEGF in the glioblastoma patients relative to white matter, normal tissue. We can continue down through the other data sets that support this finding, the TCGA brain study, nearly 500, over 550 patients are summarized in this plot, and see again the significant p-value fold change in gene rank when comparing 542 brain glioblastomas to 10 normal brain tissues. Similarly, in the Murat brain study, we have a glioblastoma relative to normal samples, and we have the drill down in patients when we're comparing glioblastomas relative to normal. As we walk through each of these analyses, we can note independent data sets, independent investigators, the same results for VEGF overexpression in glioblastoma relative to normal tissue. This is an example of looking at differential expression and validating your target across all of the world's experiments. Additional suites of tools provide more specific analysis related to the data that is being analyzed. For example, the Oncomine Power Tool Suite provides the ability to drill down to investigate whether DNA copy number gain and relationship to cancer can be associated with a single gene that could be a potential target. Within the genome view, we can select chromosome 8, here summarizing across five lung cancer data sets. We identify a peak where we have a high sum of log 2 copy number across all of these data sets at a specific genomic location. We can mark the boundaries around that peak just by drawing a box around that region. That selection will then update the region viewer, which displays as rows each of the sample names, clinical lung cancer specimens, and as columns each of the genes along the genome. We can then filter to only display those samples where there are four or more copies. When we do that, we identify then within the region view the minimum common region across all of the patients where there are four copies or greater. We see uh, at the peak here uh, the gene MYC. This identifies MYC as a potential target based on the, this minimum common region analysis and the fact that MYC is amplified in the most number of patients uh, above four copies. Another application in the Oncomine Power Tool suite investigates mutation data. 
This data is collected from the public domain. It includes targeted assays, next-gen sequencing assays, as well as data from the COSMIC uh, repository. In this view, we're looking at a discovery workflow. There are also validation re workflows. You can investigate a single gene for its frequency across cancer types. Here, we've selected in this top tree map view the general cancer type lung cancer. And in the specific cancer type, we've selected small cell lung carcinoma. When we do that, we're summarizing across all of the small cell lung carcinoma samples the mutations that have been identified and summarizing the frequencies. In this discovery workflow, we now have a prioritized list of targets where there are mutations in small cell lung carcinoma. We've also applied a filter to identify those that are potential oncogenes based on recurrent mutations at hotspot locations across the protein. Here we see POTEG at a frequency of 22.8%, 34 patients out of 149 total uh, were tested for mutation in this gene. And in the pie chart to the right, we see the specific mutations being summarized. And note the 87 uh, amino acid position, where there are a change from D to H or D to G. This being the hot spot uh, that is being summarized uh, and calling this as a potential oncogene. This discovery workflow allows one to then investigate a number of new tar potential targets. Finally, the Oncomine Next Gen Sequencing Power Tool Suite provides views on data types such as fusion data. These fusions are called through our pipelines and summarized here in this cancer type view. Here we're highlighting thyroid gland tumors and a particular fusion that was identified, CCDC8, 6, I'm sorry, and RET at a frequency of 3.5%. And we're also retrieving each of the individual patient uh, and showing the structure of these fusions based on the exons to look for uh, heterogeneity uh, across these uh, different patients and get a sense for the structure of the mutation. Below, we're showing each of the pairs uh, and their RNA-seq data, or expression data from next-gen sequencing data, as RPKMs. And post-breakpoint, as indicated by the red triangle, we see a shift or an increase in expression of RET fused with CCDC6. These are potential fusions that are supported now by exon expression imbalance of one of the partners in this fusion. This is supporting information that may indicate a potential role in disease for this particular fusion. A comprehensive tool that combines all of the next-gen sequencing results is the Integrative Analysis Browser. In this view, we're summarizing three genes, BRAF, EGFR, and KRAS, across all of our cancer types, and we're summarizing frequencies of specific aberrations, fusions, mutations, amplifications, and combinations. These are assigned as different colors in the bars, and when we select a number of these to explore further, data is retrieved from our database, and co-occurrence can be observed in the next view. Selecting the co-occurrence tab, we can now see across the cancer types that we selected uh, specific aberrations as indicated by the color for KRAS, BRAF, and EGFR on a per patient basis. We can then see, for example, KRAS mutations and ab other aberrations are mutually exclusive with BRAF and EGFR in glioblastoma. We can also identify uh, EGFR gain of function mutations, as well as in peak gene amplifications, co occur as indicated by this gold color. This view gives us the ability to identify subpopulations, look at mutual exclusivity, and co occurrence to better understand the populations that we're seeking to treat. These are just some of the applications that can be used in the Oncomine platform. They address a number of different workflows and questions coming in from a target identification perspective, a discovery perspective, as well as utilizing some of the new data types from the NGS uh, work that's being done. Thank you for your time and attention today.